I'm Neve McAvoy. I play ladies Gaelic football for St. Sylvester's in Malahide, a Dublin ladies football team, and most recently, DIT ladies football team. You were stuck driving me all over the, the yeah. county. <laughs> and then I kind of ended up getting sucked into running GA teams, for, to having to transfer across from soccer to GA. Yeah, well, we, we were trying to, we didn't really have a girls team. We, we were kind of, recruiting girls left, right and centre yeah. to try and field teams at yeah. that time, so it's, it's a bit different now, there's Q. huge, huge amount yeah. of numbers up there, but... Yeah, it's different now. It was actually, yeah. It was a big interest now. It was great, we, were, we, used to, we used to be ringing around on the morning and getting cousins and yeah. family friends to try and come out and play for us. Like you're in the final of the ladies and the men's on the Wednesday, the ladies and on the Thursday, the boys, and we, everyone, 50 of the, the immediate family went to Spain and me and you were the only two who didn't go because you were... Did everybody go that time? Everybody, all the adherents? Yeah. Everybody. It was all the adherents. Yeah. And me and you were the only two not there. You used to have to fly your home from the gay talk every summer. We used oh, to have yeah. to fly your home two or three times. You'd go to for four weeks and have to fly There's your no home. There's no point in me even being there. I'd no. have to come home and play that. Midweek and on the weekend every time. Yeah, I had to fly you home on Wednesday for a game for, yeah. Peter, for the for the Pop Yeah. Had to fly you home often for a Dublin game. Yeah. Had to fly you home for a Leinster one year. Never drove down to get you. I always flew you home. <laughs> like you were like a rock star. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny chatting about it and thinking, like my career over the last ten years, how the, how the sport has changed and stuff. And in your lifetime, yeah. In my lifetime, yeah. there's been a massive change. revolutionised. Yeah, the competition's come a long way. It's great because remember how much it meant to all the girls on the panel at that time. It was. It was their first taste of success. They're a huge amount of girls in yeah, Berlin. Yeah, yeah. It would have been the only time they they played in an All Ireland. Some of them now. Lots yeah, at the national kids. level. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it yeah. would have been their only time um, to play in All Ireland final. So it's great now that. They, they, the weekend does include all the teams, you know, because yeah. it's equally as important to the girls at all the divisions. The competition never had a sponsor when I was in my undergrad, so yeah, Gourmet's involvement yeah. and everything makes really? it, it brings up the profile and makes it look like more of a professional competition, which is the kind of respect that the competition deserves. I suppose when I was making that decision then to go back to college, everyone was a bit shocked, weren't they, ma'am? They were couldn't believe I was leaving my job. Completely out of blue. Yeah. It's just, uh, I don't know. And it's then you were you were probably one of the only ones who were like, whatever you want, Nevo. Uh, you go you for want, it. Yeah. yeah. I don't care, yeah. yeah. Even though I had a successful Merino campaigns, we never got to the actual play in the actual colleges weekend, so I'm delighted to be playing with TIT. Yeah. Just did it yeah, just did it five years later than expected. Yeah, you're an L one now. Yeah. You're still playing in colleges. <laughs> the stadium. Yeah. <laughs>